connecting this full circle, these capital letters x and y relate to a random variable. This is an abstract idea. How much time an individual spends on our website could take on lots of different values. So this capital letter x is not a number, it's an entire set of possible values. We can think of capital X as a placeholder for any of these possible values. When we look at an individual outcome of our random variable, we signify this with a lowercase letter. Often the lowercase letter has a subscript that helps us attach notation to each specific value in our data set. For this data set, we would say the amount of time an individual spends on our site is provided by an amount, which we would notate with a capital X. The first visitor spends five minutes on the site, which we would notate with X1. Notice this is a lowercase x. The second visitor spends 10 minutes on the site, which we would notate as x2. Again, since this is an observed value, this is a lowercase x. The labeling could continue until we reach the final visitor in our data set, who we'd call the nth visitor. We would label this value as xn. Again, this is a lowercase value. Notation is an essential tool for us to communicate mathematical ideas. We have now discussed the idea that capital letters are used as notation for random variables. When we observe a particular value of the random variable, we use a lowercase letter with a subscript that signifies the specific value of the random variable we are considering. Notation can be tricky. Before we dive deeper, check your understanding. There are quizzes available in the next module to assure you've mastered the concepts we've introduced.